I kind of want to move into the next thing that I wanted to talk to you about, which I think is going to oh. be fun. We haven't talked about this on my channel yet. <laughs> and Tyrone, actually, when I was talking about earlier, um, that day where I was really upset and he called me, we ended up talking for like hours. He had taught me something called the muscle test. Ah. And then did you, you said you didn't talk about this on your channel at all? Or you have? A little bit. Okay. Muscle testing, applied kinesiology. Um, it's real. It's stuff that people do. I mean, just levels to it. But sometimes you, you'll go to a doctor and a doctor might ask you to hold, say, maybe a supplement or something in your hand. And then he'll test in the other hand just to strength with it. That's a form of muscle testing. You can tell what's good and what's bad for you just by testing the strength in, an, in one of your hands by after touching something. Mm, okay. You've been around a person before that when you, you, you feel bad, they bring you down. I had a girlfriend, I would go to her house, which was full of negative energy, which I didn't really know at the time. I would go to sleep. I would start to feel drained. And, just, mm. and yeah, trust me, especially after I started to learn more and more about this, I told her, I said, I'm not going to your house anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's bad you have me. to come here <laughs> yeah. because what your parents are going through and everything else in your house, it's a lot of dark energy in there. I could feel it. Same thing. Your body just knows what's bad for you. you know? and, and you say, I guess that would be different from person to person. Oh yeah. yeah, some things might be good for her that aren't good for me. I mean, we're you know different. You can tell our ancestors came from different parts of the world. Except so. he did play my dad in a movie. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Adopted. It was funny. Yeah, adopted. <laughs> adopted daughter. I thought it was so strange when I found out that she was play, playing my daughter in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> like I could, for example, my doctor that, that muscle test, but he does traditional Chinese medicine. He does a bunch of stuff. He told me, he said, oh, he's like, you're the first fruit body that I, you're 100% fruit. You can live off of fruit. Interesting. He tests you and tells you what's best for your diets, what things to live Oh, about. I do need to go to him. So I can eat meat and other stuff, but he said, you're fine on fruit. And I remember... I was just eating grapes and watermelon and apples for like three months. And I had this glow and I had gray hairs that disappeared. Wow. And I mean, it was, and I was just as strong when I was eating meat as when I was eating meat. Interesting. For you people that think that you only need it. But then there may be people that do need, need to have some Need a lot meat. of meat. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So it depends on where you are genetically. Okay. I have a question for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've never talked about this always. Uh -oh. Have you ever heard of breatharians? Yes. What do you feel about them? I started to look into it. For those of you that don't know, breatharians are those who claim, mm -hmm. whether yes. it's true or not, I don't know, um, that <laughs> they don't need any nutrients and that they can live off of breathing. And they don't need yeah. food, water, anything. So what, what's your- I idea? saw something the other day and they actually said, they said only air and sunlight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, like I don't plant. believe it. I believe that they're close. Well, no, because even plants need water. <laughs> right. I think it's water, um, water, and nutrients. So, in other words, I think A people. Juice fast. Yes. People <laughs> could live off a of juice fast. You could, if you're drinking enough of the right juices mm -hmm. and even stuff like bone broth, which has the collagen in mm -hmm. oh, so many things. And it's and tasty. They call it liquid gold. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's called it's liquid good. gold. So, um, yes, you can survive because you can get plenty of protein through bone broth. And, you know, so anyway, I do not think, though, that you can live forever like yeah. that or be healthy forever. <laughs> I was just curious. I was just but curious. I respect their. <laughs> Dedication. <laughs> I even there's a girl on YouTube that does deep breathing exercises. I forgot what her name is. You've probably run into her, but she said it made her, her feel full during her fast. Interesting. Getting so much oxygen. Yeah. By the way, by different like breathing techniques. Mm -hmm. So how would a person using this like muscle testing? <laughs> oh, guys. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, how would a person, if they wanted to find out if they were like a fruit body or a carnivore body, how would they use this muscle testing? Okay. I don't know what to call it. It's like a okay, so my muscle, my, my doctor is a muscle tester, and through speaking to him, I figured it out a little bit. I went on YouTube. There's actually videos that teach you how to muscle test if you want to learn how to muscle test yourself. Mm -hmm. 
And through continuing to see him and watching the videos, I figured it out to the point where he wanted me to work with him. I actually <laughs> learned to muscle test that well. I'm not better than him, excuse me, but I'm, I'm really good. So th there's a way I'll show you a little bit, but like, for example, you can use your left or your right hand and they start out from what I remember the video would say, you have to first find out what your yes and what your no is, mm -hmm. what your body does. So a lot of people, they'll put two fingers together and they will say like, my name is Tyrone, all right? So my name is Tyrone. And you try to break the connection in your finger, mm. in your fingers. Okay. If it will not break, and that's the correct answer. That's your that's your yes. Gotcha. So, but if I say my name is uh, Sarah, it breaks. I look. I'm I'm like straining to hold my fingers together. But okay. It breaks. That was gonna be it my question not let for me the hold people it. that ask that. It's like, well, what if you're just you know already holding it lighter than you? So you always right. hold it at the exact same like yep. intensity. It will not let me. It will, it, and it will make me break it if if it's a no. Also, what can affect it is being grounded. If a lot of you know about grounded, if you're not grounded, uh, they said to visualize the earth's energy traveling up through your, uh, your tailbone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, through, that will ground you. Another way is just standing on soil or Bare rock high. or cement, not, not black top because it has oil in it. It doesn't conduct the earth's no energy concrete, properly. Like nature. So if you're not grounded, that can affect it. And also, if you're not hydrated enough, that can affect it, from mm. what I understand. I don't know about anything else, but I know those things can affect it and affect the answers that you get. So, um, so a lot of times you want to start out, you want to ask yourself, you want to say, my name is whatever. Okay, then you know you're, you're ready to go, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And then you can do the testing. But it took me months to get it right. And now I'm at a point to where I could say I'm 99% yeah. good at knowing. You can ask me almost anything and I can give you a definitive answer. But some things are probabilities. Like some people ask me, like, like for example, when I started dating this woman, I asked him, was she good for me? Mm -hmm. And he, I said, can you test whether a relationship is good for me? He was like, good yeah. Person. So I asked him and he goes, he's like, you sure you want me to get it? I was like, yeah. He was like. He started doing the test and he was like, right now she is. Ah, you see? right now she is. So th life is in flux. Things mm -hmm. can change. Ebbs and flows. Yes. So you, you can, if once you learn the muscle test, you can test and say, you can meet someone at a party and be like, Hmm, should I talk can to them? you imagine? Should I ask her you're out? at a party. You're at a party. Yeah, you're you can, in the corner, yeah, like, a <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's definitely a party trick that you can do with it, um, and you can find out. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Cause when uh, we spoke about all this about a year and a half ago, I, like I said, I was going through a really rough time in my life, rough day. And so when we were talking about all this and we'll get into the whole like soul, uh, soulmate, twin flame, that kind of thing. Um, he said because we had an energetic core that connects us and I don't think I've really talked about that on my channel yet. Um, he was actually able to do it remote. So we weren't even yeah. like physically in the same room. But I think you we combined it with like I had to visualize. The yeah, person. I yes, because she asked me about somebody. I asked her to visualize him because mm -hmm. that's what my doctor asked me. He said visualize her. Mm -hmm. You know when he muscle tested me for the girl. So um, yeah. So I thought that was pretty cool too. Yes, as long as I'm um, connected. I remember you asking yeah. me if I was hydrated. Yeah. I was like, yeah, except <laughs> on my tears. And then, yeah. So then I had to test to see if I was connected to her. And then I tested to make sure she was hydrated. Then I did the test for her. <laughs> and then I could, yeah. Because I know you were saying too, like you could, like, I know you were talking about like the fruit body and everything like that. Mm -hmm. You could say, you know, you're walking along the grocery store aisle mm -hmm. and literally pick something up off the shelf and be like, and hold it up to you and be like, yeah, some this. people hold it to their gut because that's where it's going. Right. And I think it's if you start to tilt back, it's bad. But if you lean forward, the body likes it. it Interesting. Wants it. Yeah. Interesting. I don't like that one. I can't do that one very well. Some people do that really well. I, I, I can't feel that one right. So. Well, and I think a lot of this like stuff with you know, spirituality has a lot to do with like, I, I like to call it like a la carte. Like it's kind of like everything you have to test to see what works for you best. 
Mm. And like what works for you isn't always going to work for someone else. That's true. You know? That's true. Not necessarily like the different like laws of the universe. Like obviously that's all like set in stone kind of. Mm -hmm. But the way that you can like use it from person to person. Yeah. Um, yeah, I never, it, it's, it's kind of weird because humans are very much alike. But we can be different on specific terms. Like guys are really like... I run into this a lot with guys, and guys know this. There's just always the guy, yo, bro, all you need to do is lift and eat clean, and he, he, and she knows the that type was, of guys. That was me though for so long. <laughs> and they swear they that's the simple, but sometimes, see, we know, yes, eat clean and lift, and most of us are going to get in shape. Yeah. But sometimes with certain people, there are other problems that they have, mm -hmm. and that's why they can't. Yeah, sometimes it's yeah. mental, sometimes it's a, a gland or an organ or it's something, you know yeah. what I mean? That they need to get fixed before. Hormonal imbalances yeah. like that yeah. you don't know about. Um, yeah. you know, like all kinds of stuff. So it's not, it, it isn't one size fits all. Right. It's definitely not. But most people know what they need to do to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. If you stay that path and then you start to course correct, it's like, okay, well, Sarah needs to eat this, but I don't, I actually need this because my heart or my liver. Okay, yeah. but we're both eating clean and in relatively good health, but mm -hmm. she needs to steer somewhere else to heighten her health more because I'm. she has a problem I don't and I have a problem she doesn't. You got <laughs> what I'm saying? It's called being a woman. Yeah, it can affect, it can affect, really can. Two people can have a liver problem. One of you gets thin and one of you gets fat yeah. because of the way it's affecting your hormones and other organs. It's just, yeah. you know, it's... Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. No, I definitely want to start putting this like muscle testing to use. Do you think it has anything to do with your intuition? No. Interesting. Um, I think that's great for people who have sucky intuition. Mm -hmm. My intuition has always been really good. I noticed when I learned to lean on intuition, everything started to go right in my life. Mm. But you know, when you have, still can have clouded judgment though. Yeah. Muscle testing, I test last. Something could gotcha. feel great. I can meet somebody and be like, this seems like a good opportunity. And I can feel it and I'll test it like, yep, it is. You know what I mean? Mm. But sometimes I'll get a no and I'm like, hmm, I wonder why. And you can test to find out why. Yeah. You know, like I'd be like, Sarah would be a great wife. And like, yeah, but she's also crazy. You can find out she's crazy about certain things. And like, that. like, okay, but she has her problems? Yeah, okay, she's this, she's that. She's, you, know, you, have, you have to go through the whole gamut to find Every out what her problem is. is. I love that. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, but she's relatively good. Right now. With anything, you can do that. With a job, with your health, with your diet. Like, I'll test food sometimes if like, it's good for me. And then I'll be like, is it 100% good for me? And I'll mm. get a no. And then I'll be like, okay, what is it? Additive or how it's processed? You know, you, you'll find out. Yeah, you will find out exactly what it is. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Um, now I have a question for you. Like, what about, I have a trouble with this one. Intuition mm. versus manifesting. Let me give you an example. Okay. So I'm gonna give you a really dumb example because I play a lot, a lot of Yahtzee on my phone. <laughs> Yahtzee. <laughs> yeah. I've only heard the name y Yahtzee on TV. People playing Yahtzee. You never, Yahtzee. <laughs> you never played Yahtzee? She's an old soul. <laughs> <laughs> She's bird watching and playing Yahtzee. She is an old lady already. <laughs> She's with, an old with my soul. cat upstairs. <laughs> yeah, your cat lady. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. you She's laying the groundwork. <laughs> I've never played Yahtzee, I swear to God. Never. Is that the one with the... <laughs> the cup? Yeah, but sometimes the cup's too loud for me, so I roll it in my head. Like, I get irritated by the noise I remember the seeing my mom play with her sisters. I remember that yeah. when I was a kid, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I ever played. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm like really like sensitive to like sound. So like the the dice in the cup, I'm like it's that echo is a little loud. Oh, I right? cannot I deal get, with it. it. If someone else tries to do it, I'm like do it in your hand. Yes. <laughs> but so so <laughs> intuition so versus nice manifesting. <laughs> So say I'm playing Yahtzee, right? Mm -hmm. Getting Yahtzee is getting all five die on the same number. It's like all ones, all twos, all threes, mm -hmm. all whatever. 
it's the highest score you can get in the game. Okay. So say like I'm playing this game, right? And I'm like manifesting like a Yahtzee. And I'm just like, you know, have this note. I'm getting a Yahtzee. No, like, yeah, yeah, like I'm getting it right, I right. I do this all the time. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm getting Yahtzee. But then my intuition's like deeper than that. And it's like, no, you're not. Mm. Like there's a, I have a constant conflict with that. Not just with Yahtzee, but it's just mm. like an easy example to use. See, me and her were discussing knowingness earlier. Mm -hmm. We were discussing Is this. it clairvoyant? Knowingness is, it's, you know, if you watch like the secret movie, mm -hmm. there's a woman in there, she says, I know, like I know, like I know, like I know. Yeah. And there is, there is no doubt. I was in that mindset a couple of times in my life. One of them was when I won the IMTA contest when I was at with her. And the other one was when my YouTube channel started to explode. Mm. There was a knowingness that I was going to succeed. And once you get there, you'll understand what that is. Now, it, do you choose that knowingness or does it choose you? Oh, that's a good one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think you choose it. You choose to manifest it because, I mean, I guess you have to manifest that mindset of knowingness. Right, yeah, that's true. So, you've... Oh, I had it one other time, too, when I worked for this security company when I sold home security systems. There was, there was a time where I would uh, get my schedule for the next day and it'd be like, okay, I have five appointments. Hope I get them. They, they, when I was in that mindset, mm -hmm. it was like, okay, I've got five more sales tomorrow. Okay, I should be able to hit my goal by the end of the month. There, there and I mean, there was, it wasn't self-talk. Mm -hmm. It wasn't self-talk like, yeah, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. Like people fake it till they make it yeah. till they get that mindset, which actually works. Yeah, it totally does. But there, I was unstoppable. I was like an anime villain. I knew I was not going to lose. <laughs> In front of my they, like, back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look up anime. She laughs like an anime villain. So, you guys. <laughs> I've been told I laugh like a witch. Like, my brother will make fun of me because he'll be like. <laughs> like Sometimes she cackles. She, she has like. <laughs> Sometimes so. <laughs> <laughs> but I always find it like kind of difficult to. Uh, override wait what, what am i trying to say override your intuition with manifestation so so let's go back to the yahtzee example mm -hmm. so if my knowing mm -hmm. is that i'm not going to get the yahtzee but i'm trying to override it with my manifestation or is mm -hmm. that just in it in itself that's the lack of well believing. i'm going to give her what taught me how we get my yahtzee <laughs> and he says that if you can't feel 100% like it's yours, there is still a small part of negativity and inside doubt. of you that is holding that mm. back. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. When I won that contest, I wrote winner, you know, I tie room Magnus winner, and I signed it as an oath to myself to win that contest. Now, when you're working on, you know, manifesting or having that knowing with something, what do you do when that doubt does try to creep up? Because it does happen from time to time. And he talks about this in it, EFT. Ah, oh, see, I, I never really gotten into that. Combination, the combination of EFT and muscle testing has kept me in God mode. Wow. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not God. I'm just, I'm talking in gamer terms. <laughs> in gamer terms, gamers yeah, know that like God like mode is with, it's the cheat code that just lets you, you kill everything with one <laughs> shot. It's, it's just easy mode. All of a sudden, Nuclear. you're the, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 probably. <laughs> um, but uh, yes, you. It has kept me in a position to where I, and I, if I am focused on staying in Zen. Because mm -hmm. everyone gets derailed. There's the news, there's your relationships, yeah. there's bills, there's everything. As long as you come back to EFT and you muscle test to make sure you're still in the right place, mm -hmm. I use that combination. And do you do that like on the spot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. all the time. Yeah. Like, He's in the store like... Yeah, yeah, yeah she'll see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, if you... The people that watch my videos, sometimes they'll see me doing this. And this, this is a way of keeping me calm and keeping me centered. That's one piece of the EFT puzzle that I learned that actually works well for most of my mental 
uh, issues, if you want to call it. Like, if I'm feeling a little negative about something, that'll ease my mind. It's yeah. this. Mm hmm They call that the karate chop point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> karate chop point. No, and that That's immediately makes it. you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 and it, they call it the, uh, the, not the original recipe, the basic recipe. So look up the- two, 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 two. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay, see, yeah, it was almost to say, I missed it. So she was feeling better at that point than I was. She I was meant to see it. I told you, it's that I always see. Yeah. So, um, but it's called the basic recipe. Look up Gary Craig. Gary Craig basic recipe, EFT. He'll show you how to do it. And I just, I focused on mastering that because most of us, are unconsciously conscious, which means that you just automatically do things mm -hmm. that are bad for you. Like autopilot. You're on yeah. autopilot for bad thought and you're manifesting bad things in your life automatically. Mm -hmm. I used to be like, when I would start talking to a new girl, I, would, I was always waiting for the next shoe to, to, mm -hmm. shoe to drop, always. You can't be like that with your life. It's like the saying, um, I, I hate the saying, if, yeah. expect the worst, hope for the best. Yes. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, if you're yeah, expecting yeah. the worst. Yes. Yeah. I changed happens. mine as I grew older. Mine is, I plan for the worst, but I expect the best. I like that. You know what I mean? Expect the best, plan for the worst. Because the reason why you need to plan for the worst is only because your human imperfection makes you, f you stumble sometimes. Mm -hmm. There we go, I don't know. <laughs> if you can stay in Zen mode, every, everything just, like I, it's going to go well. And when something goes bad, it's usually to get you out of a situation. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes it'll be like people, okay, you're in Zen mode, everything is great, and then, I don't know, your girlfriend calls you and breaks up with you. You weren't meant to be with her. She was probably cheating with you already, on, on you already, or something bad was going on behind your back. Something better is coming. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because she, like if me and her were going out, she has control over her manifestation, mm -hmm. and I have control over mine. Can I affect her? Yes. Mm -hmm. But if it's not going to be to my greater good, my manifestation of trying to manifest, say, a perfect life, might push her out for someone better to come in. Interesting. You know? Yeah. So you gotta think about that sometimes. That's a really good point. Yeah. Like, if we're manifesting, it, it kind of goes into the, you know, people always say like, you can't concentrate on the how. Like if you're trying mm -hmm. to manifest, like we're talking about relationships, a perfect relationship for you, and you're in love with someone or their partner or whoever, and it's not working out, that is your manifestation coming into play. Yeah, your mind. Because it's keeping yeah, room for that yeah. perfect relationship to come in. Yeah, because like, there's an example he gives on the CD set that I'm gonna give her so she knows. It's like, okay, say you meet Sarah and you're like, oh my God, she's the greatest thing on the planet. I want to take Sarah on a date. Sarah, she's the one, Sarah, <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. And you put out this whole thing where it's just Sarah, Sarah, and you're, you're manifesting. And, it's not happening. And all of a sudden, Judy, you meet Judy at the store. Judy. <laughs> Judy with the booty. <laughs> you meet Judy and all of a sudden you're like, whoa, like I actually like Judy better. Wait, but I want Sarah, don't yeah. I? It's because your vision of the perfection of her being perfect for you brought you who was really perfect Love for that. you. And if she really is, she will come to you as long as her manifestation isn't, I guess you could say Against strong. Against you. If, yeah, because if she's like, if she's like really negative mm -hmm. and you're a really positive person, you're really not going to attract her or you will, but it won't work. You'll be good, you'll be fighting, you'll be good, you'll be fighting, yeah. but she's not you're, on your Because you're, yeah. both of your mindsets and your manifestations are almost battling. Yeah. yeah. I always wondered about that. Like, There's say a total like, war. Yeah, like if someone's manifesting another person. Okay, I'm manifesting you, right? Mm -hmm. But you're manifesting someone else. Who's wins? You the know? The person who... Has a stronger knowing. Yeah, it's kind of like we both want to win, win a race. Who's going to manifest it? The one who's manifesting, I guess you could say, the best. Yeah. Because if me and her are running a race, well, 
Um, you know, the universe, they say that all these probabilities will come together to manifest me winning the race if I'm manifesting better than you. So you might trip. You might actually be the faster runner, but mm -hmm. you could trip and then I win. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you what just, is manifesting yeah. better? It's having, again, like we were talking about earlier, zero doubts. And it's, yes. it's, it's a tough feat to get doubts. to. Zero doubts, it's hard to get sometimes. there. Sometimes. I've been there, I just haven't been to, I can only sustain it if I'm listening to positive motivational books and videos yeah. and watching movies like that. I, otherwise, I way. eventually, start to creep down and it's like and it can like change on a day-to-day -day basis at least for me too like yesterday i was in a really cranky mood like super cranky <laughs> like i was just like it was great oh, I, was cranky going, Sarah. I was going through the whole like i just want to be in the spirit realm like i was there yeah, she wants to be with the angels <laughs> yeah like, Sarah, and then, come back. you got more work to like, do nah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> <See ya. laughs> but I started reading this like spiritual book, which I'm going to do a live video on and like kind of go through it. I've been taking notes because it's phenomenal. We're gonna talk gnomes and fairies and shit. Um, <laughs> but I started reading. teach me about that because I don't know about. Yeah, those. it's super interesting. And so I sat by on the couch last night. I lit the fire. I had my meditation music on the TV with a nice little beach background. Dove into my book, felt so good, <laughs> ate a popsicle, and then like, I went upstairs and meditated. And like within that, like being concentrated on that stuff, I was like, I was like, feeling great. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, I feel good. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? That brings to mind. You, you've heard of a mastermind, correct? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Um, it really does help that this is the problem okay so it, it, I mean if you've got EFT and muscle testing and you know Fair how to lot. gauge yourself and you know how to keep yourself on track that's great but it's always nice to have enhancement so when you're a mastermind <laughs> and enhancement you know your PEDs <laughs> for you fitness people she is an enhancement to me and I am an enhancement mm -hmm. to her we're a mastermind now together, so we can do better work together, mm -hmm. stronger and more work together than we can by ourselves. Because a lot just by talking about this stuff. Right. One you know, just one horse has one horsepower. Two horses is two horse I mean, yeah, you got two horsepower, but when they're combined and they pull that carriage together, it's three horsepower. Yeah. It multiplies. That's why they even, you know, a lot of the secrets are in our movies and TV shows. Mm -hmm. So when you see that boardroom of the people around the round table, you know, uh, plotting world domination, <laughs> it's because they all enhance their one mm -hmm. idea, their one goal. So if we have an, a goal, an ideal goal to do something together, then if we're both focusing on it, it'll come in faster. It's magnetized, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's such a good point. It's like, it's like when people do like big group meditations and stuff like that. Yeah. Or um, like group prayer and, and things like that. It's just like magnetized, yeah. which is uh, really cool stuff. That's why prayer, you know, here's the thing. I personally believe that, yeah, you reap what you sow and God has set out some plans for you. You can see them in the Bible and stuff. And you're like, oh, you, if you're into manifesting, you'll recognize what scriptures line up with manifesting. Don't I always say it. But, you know, I think that I personally, it's just my personal opinion, I don't know if it's ours, I don't think God is constantly active in our lives. I think that he does want us to learn, like child parents want their children to learn on their own, how to use the tools that he already gave you. Yeah. I do believe God comes in in really grave instances, mm -hmm. but I think that you have your guardian angels to help you out, and you've got your own mind and experiences you know, to help you out. I mean, God helped you put on your shoes. I mean, you don't need him to help you put on your shoes. I've said that yeah. before. Like, God's not going to tell you which socks to put on today. Yeah, God woke me up today. Uh, <laughs> people say that a lot, but I don't think he really woke you up. I mean, you woke up because you, you might have a good relationship with God and you have good health and all sudden, but he didn't personally <laughs> knock on your head and wake you up. Pull so, you out of bed. It's so yeah. interesting that you say that because I keep talking about this book I'm reading, but it's it's been blowing my mind and challenging my beliefs. Okay. Um, and, it, and it's talking about um, how God has created creation, right? He, mm -hmm. All that is, was, ever will be. But he created, there's, but there's levels up to him. That's where you would see your Jesus, your Buddha, all these things, okay. all these people, right? All the, all the greats. 
and there's levels that go down all the way down to human that's what they're talking about in this book and how he is like like you were saying he sits back and he just hangs out and like lets his creation do it and trusts the people below him to kind of like manage like they're like he assigns the managers and then they help the spirit guides and the council and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff um so it really it's rocking my beliefs a little bit like it's mm -hmm. challenging me but i also think mm -hmm. it's important to like stay open-minded i yeah. think you know like like if i were reading this book and immediately like, i was like eh, yeah. that's bullshit, blah, 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 blah. Right. like you're closing your mind and the whole point of all of this is to like stay open-minded yeah. even if you're more about the bible you'll see Which in I a know. lot of situations he sends his angels he doesn't do it directly so himself true. he doesn't have to so he's true. in charge He's got a very powerful beings below him that can handle it without him having to yeah, step in. That's such know? a good point. Because I am mm. like a big Bible person. Um, I've been reading that almost every day too. Mm. And and more and more I'm finding these, uh, you know, they just teach about this stuff in churches. They don't teach mm. about like, you know, healings and manifestations and all this stuff. And that's why mm. I talk a lot about it on my channel. I'm like, this shit yeah. is in the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think there's a... Uh, there's a, it's, you know what it really is? It's kind of like, for you nerds again, it's like the light and dark side. You know, it's, it's, it's a manifesting or a manipulation, if you will, maybe of the, the, the laws that God has already put in order. But you can take these things like man has already done and done a lot of evil things with stuff that God has put on the planet. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's the same thing. And that's where you can get into other stuff. To where it can be the darker side and people are like all right now i was getting into witchcraft yeah, okay. well, we you know what i mean that that's earlier. what we were talking about that earlier yeah some stuff is the dark side mm -hmm. and i'm not saying that all witchcraft is bad some of the witch some stuff that people call witchcraft really isn't witchcraft craft at all but what you mean like putting me. people's names on like bananas or something <laughs> and put them in the freezer I, I, i've never heard of that what does that get you <laughs> what <laughs> mine did that she's like a and like the witchy stuff and she does like the spells and all that kind of stuff and she told me the one time that she wrote i think it was an x something like that i don't mm -hmm. know someone she didn't want to deal with and she on shot with sharpie like wrote his name on the banana and put it in the freezer and, this, and then i'm not sure what happened please ask her i can't <laughs> I understand know. why you let that story go and find out you should have found out why are you doing this <laughs> for what result <laughs> Oh, she just let it go. <laughs> Hi, Mom! My mom's calling. They're buds. <laughs> it's been a while since you've seen her.